Hey there, my name is Evan Barber and I work as an associate preparator on exhibits at OMCA. I'm also a bit of a bird nerd and have been birding Northern California for many years. Now I prefer the term birding over bird watching because this recreation involves much more than simply watching birds. Among other things, it involves listening to and identifying birds by sound as well as by sight. Whether you have experience with this or not, this is a perfect time to practice birding by ear. Not only is it springtime and we have migratory birds passing through and resident birds that are breeding and they're singing their little hearts out, but because most of us are sheltering in place because of the pandemic, there are far fewer human noises in the, in the environment to uh, compete with bird song fewer cars on the street, fewer airplanes in the sky. If you're new to this, I recommend starting off by learning five common birds in your neighborhood. Now, because these are gonna vary from place to place, I'm gonna take you outside to uh, some different locations to listen to different bird song. Let's go. So I'm here in the East Bay Hills. It's early morning, the sun is just rising, and now is a perfect time to be birding by ear. Many of the bird species around here are calling at dawn. Now, one of the great things about birding by ear is you don't need any special equipment. All you need are your ears. If you have a pair of binoculars, it certainly doesn't hurt though. Uh, if you can see the bird while it's calling, the more quickly you can associate the way it looks with the way it sounds. Some of the common species I'm listening for around here include red-shouldered hawk, Sellers jay, dark-eyed junco, spotted towhee, and wild turkey. Hey, so I'm now at Mosswood Park in North Oakland. In this more urban environment, it attracts a different cast of birds, um, but there's still plenty of them here. And learning common birds of urban environments is one of the best places to start learning birding by ear. You know, once you know um, common birds like American Robin, House Sparrow, House Finch, California Tokey, and American Crow, well, then you'll be better able to recognize something less common when it passes through your neighborhood. So I'm now in the Sierra Nevada foothills, about two and a half hours east of the Bay Area, in what is a transitional zone between oak woodland and yellow pine forest. We have, for example, here a lot of the same birds that are common in urban and suburban areas, but then a bunch of other species mixed in as well. For example, we have chestnutback chickadee, which is common along the coast, but we also have mountain chickadee. And in fact, there's so many birds calling right now, it's hard to pick just five. Let's give a listen for a second. There's orange crown warblers, purple finch, uh, Wilson's warbler, uh, acorn woodpecker, there's some California quail in the background, uh, spotted towhees. Yeah, this is just an exciting place to bird if you can. Uh, get out and check out a new area. You'll find a lot of different sounds to listen to. It's pretty wild.